What's happening, everyone? Ryan coming to you from the bench tonight. Got a uh, quick overview of my uh, Studebaker Commander here. Uh, it's painted up in a two-tone green. I call it pistachio green and Buster's Custom Colors dark emerald green. The uh, pistachio color is a craft paint that I custom mixed uh, to match the stock color. Uh, I wired it, plumbed it, foiled it, um, put in a uh, hood release uh, spring, uh, did the antenna, of course, um, and, and really just replicated my dad's build, uh, or my dad's uh, car when he was younger. Uh, I bought this case here last night on a tip from uh, Northwind Customs. Mike over at Northwind Customs told me about this case, and I have to say, uh, overall, I'm super impressed with it. I'll try to move the camera in here to where it gives you a uh, overview of it's uh, a really cool little LED lighted uh, case. It's got a USB port uh, on the back so you can uh, plug into uh, a wall or whatnot, but really uh, does a, a top notch on lighting the, uh, the model up and making it look pretty darn good. Uh, and that was the Aluma case. And this was $38 uh, powered by USB. Um, it's a 125th, I believe, was the scale on this one that, that they showed. Um, you gotta put it together. Uh, really easy to put together, but um, I'll put a link up to this. It's a great little case. Um, I think my dad's going to get a kick out of this. I still haven't heard back from Dutch. Um, assembly required. Uh, you won the gallery um, GH80 39 on my, uh, my 700 subscriber giveaway. We uh, passed up 800 subscribers here this week. Thank you all for those that are uh, tuning into the channel. I'm trying to bring you new content uh, and, and bring you out something that's a little bit different than just a kit review because it seems like every time I turn on YouTube here lately, that's all I'm seeing is kit reviews. And Let's face it, man. They, they get a little old. Uh, let's see here. Um, shop card. I got this today from Manny. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate you. Uh, he also gave me a couple... Uh, little decals for the bench here so we'll be putting those up here shortly he also sent me out some uh, house of colors jet black thank you sir uh, i will definitely put that to use as you all know i absolutely love paint so looking forward to uh putting that down getting ready to start a build off in the model hut if you all aren't a member of the model hut and would like to join in by all means uh jump on uh facebook join the group the model hut uh this uh, build-off is going to be a two-month build-off, and it is a 1950s Boulevard Cruiser. So the theme is, if you saw it on the Boulevard in the 1950s, it's legit. You can, you can build it all you want. It can be a started model, it can be a rebuilder, it can be a fresh kit. It is completely up to you. But it's called the Boulevard Cruiser uh, build-off there on the Model Hut, and by all means, join on in. And if you're not a member of... Uh, the model hut and you want to join in here on on youtube uh thumbs up to you buddy and and bring it on um let's have some fun with it it is for trophies uh, i i do give out trophies in the model hut for all of our build offs it's something that uh, i've done since 2015 and really have enjoyed it um other updates for me the chrome pins uh and the gold pins all came in the liquid chrome from zot zot whatever you want to call them uh, these things were absolutely awesome. Can't say enough about them. These were uh, terrific shine to them. Man, they they just have an, an absolute awesome shine to them. Next up on my bench, uh, I'm going to finish off the uh, little fleet liner and, and get it finished up because it's been sitting back here painted, waiting to go for a little bit. So I'm going to get that off my bench before I start my build-off car. Uh, but we'll get that going here shortly. Uh, got a few more uh Products coming in. Um, we also uh, did a test on the uh, Molotow white pin this week, and I have to say they turned out pretty good. The white walls that are on this Studebaker are this pin right here. Uh, this stuff went down a lot like an acrylic paint pin, so I mean, there's a lot cheaper ones out there. So, um, good pin, but again, on the acrylic paint pins that are out there on the market that are, that are a lot cheaper are, are the same pin. You're not going to waste money on the Molotow just, just to have the name. Um, the 1000 kit 
or excuse me, 1,000 subscriber uh, coming up. You know, we got uh, a little over 800 tonight. I think we're sitting at about 810. Um, I'm giving away this Barbatos Rex Swallowtail uh, at 1,000 subscribers. So make sure you like, subscribe, leave me a comment below, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate all of that. I thank you guys for putting out the content that you have this week. Uh, it's been kind of cool. Um, you know, I've, I've seen a ton of kit reviews out there, and I kind of bypass those uh, and, and go to the guys that are actually building or, or showing me something different that I haven't seen before um, other than just opening up a box and showing you what's inside of it. Uh, most of us have been in the hobby for quite some time and know what's in those boxes and know them very well. And myself, you know, owning the sales shack uh, for the last 10 years, I, I'm I'm pretty familiar with what models are, are in, in what boxes and what comes with them. So with that being said, you know, I'm, thank you again to all of you that have put out content this week. And, and uh, you know, I really enjoy watching it. And for those that are doing the kit reviews, you know, keep doing them. You know, they, you guys, uh, you're you're doing it for a reason. So, you know, for those that haven't seen those kits, you know, by all means, they want to see them. Uh, got a couple stash ads for me. Um, of course, everybody's got the Dodge Demon in. That seems to be the popular kit. Uh, here in the last couple weeks, I've got uh, a couple new uh, Mustangs in. I, I bought the uh, 71, the 69, and I bought a 70 Plymouth that all came in as well this week. Um, getting ready to do this for my uh, Boulevard Cruiser um, build for the model hut. That's going to be uh, the next up on the bench after I finish off that fleet line. But uh, let's see, update on the um, craft brush uh, cleaner that we used uh, water and we used isopropyl alcohol and I tested one and I, I used lacquer thinner in it it did not last and I'll get it over here to where you guys can see it on the camera I've got it plugged in so I've got to get it unplugged here this is what it is um, I don't have long enough cord right now to plug it in from over there so you guys can see it on the camera press the button gives you um, pretty much a whirlpool you only fill the water up to there and you just hang your brushes in over the top and as long as you're using uh, acrylics um, something to that effect it, it's a great great brush cleaner um, I definitely like it I use a lot of craft paint uh, myself and uh, it cleans up very well do not put lacquer thinner in in these uh, and I'll put the link up to these as well but do not put lacquer thinner in them they don't hold up it cracks the actual plastic so with that being said, uh, I think that'll uh, about do it for me tonight. I'm going to hit the bench and uh, get to building. Just wanted to bring you guys that quick update on my dad's car. I'm super happy with the way it turned out. Um, looking forward to giving him that this week and seeing his face uh, firsthand. Again, thank you, Manny, for uh, the shop card and the, uh, the decals and the paint. I appreciate it, brother. Um, if you haven't checked out Manny, by all means, uh, Manny Scale Models. He does a podcast and does some videos. Um, does a, a lot of uh, videos on, on YouTube. So if you haven't given him a, a like or a subscribe, uh, go over there and check him out. And uh, I appreciate you all. I really do. Um, again, 1,000 subscribers. We're giving away the Ace Series Gallery Swallowtail. That is the Gallery and Barbatos Rex Edition. It is brand new. Um, I did a review on this. I absolutely loved it. And of course, if you don't take my word for it, go over and watch uh, Barbatos Rex uh, video on this. Great, great airbrush. We're giving that away at 1,000 subscribers, which is coming up pretty close. Um, but uh, keeping you guys in a loop on what's going on on my bench, I appreciate all of you. And I hope that you all are going to have a great week and all have uh, recovered from the Super Bowl weekend. Um, good luck. I'll go over a little bit of the, uh, the model and, build itself. Uh, happy modeling. Here's the 1953 Studebaker Commander and some photos. Completed up in dark emerald green from Buster's Custom Colors and a craft color that I custom mixed. The Molotel pin was used for the white walls. The gold Zut liquid gold pins were used for the trim uh, that was done in gold on all the V8 emblems and the, the hubcaps and stuff like that. Did do uh, wiring to it, put in a hood release uh, spring on it. Um, 
and kind of finish it up. But, they, you know, put a little extra into it for my dad. Uh, he's 84 years old, and I, I really thought that uh, he was over the, the cars, and he asked me if uh, I would build one for him. Uh, and I, I decided to bring back one of his memories from, from his car. So dark green uh, interior. They, of course, had a tan gold um, dashboard and steering wheel. And, of course, dark green uh, on the panel, door panels themselves. Kind of going backwards on the build here. This kind of going over some of the, the process that I did. There it was when I first shot the craft paint on it and still had white. I did do the foil pri prior to painting uh, method on this one, so I didn't lose the emblems. Started out with a 1953 Studebaker Starliner Coupe from AMT, and that was my dad's car, uh, or replica of my dad's car there. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate all of you. God bless and happy modeling. I hope you all have a wonderful week. Uh, take care. See you on the next one.